Hello everyone, hope you're right. In today's video, I'm going to plant some pea seeds and some radish seeds. I'm going to start them outside in my raised bed. Here, the instructions say I can plant these radish seeds from March, which we are at the end of March till um, October, September, October, I think. And these need to be planted 10 centimeter apart from each other and in a rows of 3 centimeter apart from each other. So here I have got my raised bed. So I will be planting peas on this side, which then they can climb up this trellis. As you can see, this I have got a nice trellis here with this raised bed. And I'll be planting radish on this side. I have got three raised beds like this which is uh, 80 by 30 centimeter. So I will see how many I can put in here. Let, uh, here they need sun. So this area gets lots of sun and they can also be planted in baskets. Radishes are very fast growing. They can germinate within eight to 15 days and it's very suitable for a very early cultivation outdoors. Here are peas, they need to be planted 1 to 2 cm deep, 5 cm apart from each other. At a temperature of 10 degrees centigrade from April to May, we are at the end of March, but we are having really nice weather. Um, nights are like not very that cold as well. So they need to be planted 40 cm apart from each other and 5 cm no, sorry, they need to be planted five centimeter apart from each other in rows of 40 centimeter. I'm not going to do two rows, I'm only going to do one row alongside this trellis. So they need full sun as well. So I have planted these pea seeds last year as well, and they are really good crop, really yummy, crunchy, sweet seeds, sweet peas, not sweet pea, which you grow for flowers. These are edible peas. But they are really sweet, yummy, and tasty. And they produce a lot. They produce like uh, 1 to 2 kg per 5 to 6 plants. So uh, I'm going to first, I have filled this raised bed by the multi-purpose compost, which I use for all my planting and tree starting. And first I'm going to water it really well. You need to make sure it's really moist and wet and you need to water it until you can see the water is pouring down and it should have good drainage it has like uh, drainage holes at the bottom so you need to water it really well and then i'm going to use a stick to make a row i'm going to use this to make a row which is kind of one to two centimeter deep So here my row is ready and I'm going to put the seeds in there. These are really big seeds, really good seeds uh, and you can also plant them with your kids. They will enjoy planting them. So here you can see these seeds here. So I'm going to put them here in this row close to each other. They say 5 cm apart. Uh, plants need to be 5 cm apart but not all the seeds will germinate. And so I'm just going to put them a little bit closer to each other. Like this, in this row. Not overlapping, just a little bit. Like this. Like just in string. And 
and I'm going to do the whole row like this which I will do with my kids because they are home these days and they really like to do these things so I'm going to save the rest of the seeds to do like this I would just wanted to show you how we normally do it when this is done I'm going to cover this with compost so I'm going to uh, level up the compost here and then it's all done you don't need to do anything you will just need to make sure it stays wet and moist every day because we are getting really sunny weather these days so the soil can get a little bit dry so after a couple of days check with your finger uh, put your finger one inch deep if it feels dry it means it needs to be watered so then i will get my watering can and water it gently and they can jump in within 8 to 14 days and they can can go up to 40 centimeter um this is a like a dwarf variety it doesn't go very tall but in my experience because i grew them last year they can grow up to like uh, 80 to 90 centimeter tall anyway so this trellis is like uh, 90 centimeter tall so this will be really fine for them here in the front because we have got space here at the front as well i'm going to do my rice seeds so let's open them and check them how they look like I'm growing, growing radish for the first time because I'm no, we are not really big fan of radish. We don't eat them much, but they are really fast growing and they look really nice. So that's why I'm going to try them this year. These are radishes. They are all right to handle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make little holes here and there with this stick and drop the seeds in there. They plants need to be three centimeter apart from each other which is kind of good so they can be sown quite close now says three centimeter which is probably one inch so yeah that will be okay i think i'll just drop the seeds here and there and then i can cover it with more compost so all this place which is next to pea seeds I can use it for growing these radish seeds uh, when they germinate then you can thin them if they are too close to each other then you can thin them if they are one to two meter sorry one to two inches apart then they should be all right so half of the seeds i have done in this bed and half i'm going to do in the next bed After spreading all the seeds evenly, I am covering them with compost lightly. My kids are here to sow the rest of the pea seeds. They really enjoyed sowing these pea seeds.
After putting all the pea seeds, I covered them with the compost so they are at least 1 inch deep. So if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel as it helps me to make more videos and click on the bell button so you receive all the notifications. Your opinion matters to us so please leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.